So Donna starts off 2-0 and and 2-0 and against two pretty good teams in Wessico and PSJ North. David, let's start with you. Is there an argument to be made that Donna is the best team in the Rio Grande Valley? I think certainly there is. I, I, you know, obviously Harlingen's down this year. Uh, we have Shirley as our number one team, but I don't know if they're heads and shoulders above everyone. Donna plays the type of football, I think, that uh, you shorten the game, you play our power running game, you, 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 they can score points and they can wear you down. I think that uh, just the fact that they were able to win such a, a, a big game like this, maintain their composure, because that game could have gotten out of hand and gone yeah. the, the other way, uh, I think that says a lot about the character of these guys. And I think it says a lot about just the fact that uh, you know, they're not going to wilt under pressure. And, and they're going to play some pressure games coming up for sure, now that district's starting. And Joe, we've been talking about the Redskins passing more for years, and it looks like they finally are. This is a balanced offense out there. Well, it's a balanced offense, and it also has three tailbacks that don't get lost in the shuffle that are competing heavily for some playing time and what a luxury for the coach to say hey I got three guys that want some spots and then I can throw the football I, you know I said before that uh, you know every year I hear them saying we're gonna throw we're gonna throw and well this year they're, they're throwing the football down 14 nothing does it make you throw possibly but they can do it and, and uh, there is a balanced football team